Alright guys, welcome back to a new video today, and in today's video, I'm going to be ranking every staff from worst to best. I just want to point out before I get into the rankings list, is that just because these staffs are ranked this way doesn't mean I despise the staff in the number 4 spot. I like all the, I like all the other staffs, like it doesn't matter what order they're in, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I, I just wanted to express that, and uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Okay, so number 4 spot is actually going to be the ice staff. Okay, so for the ice staff, this is 100% the best staff for high ranks without a doubt. It can literally go to one, I think it could go to 255 uh, in BA3 with the staff, but you need help. You can get other guns with dead wire turn, uh, just in case you want to have ammo. Um, I, I don't know when you can't stop killing zombies with ice staff, I'm not too sure. So I've never, never experienced it. But yeah, let me know. Ice staff actually has really good ammo, which is really good. This ice staff is actually so easy to use in high rounds. You can just sit in a, in a fire tunnel and that's it and do that strategy. It's so fast, so simple. I actually did it recently because um, it's that easy. Uh, but I used turned as well on another gun, so that's what made it easy and simple. But yeah, after a while, the ammo actually runs out pretty fast in the ice staff. So I would recommend like getting range drops, our chemical, um, a maximo gumbo gum out of gumbo gum machine, and that could help out a lot. But yeah, it's really, really good fire rounds. I also like the ice staff because the effect is so sick. It lasts like a good 10 seconds. I would say if you get a horde of zombies, it will, it will like take them out instantly, as I was saying a minute ago with the high rounds. And uh, also, it's really good against Panzer, which is ridiculous. It's so good against Panzer. I think it kills it instantly, which is insane. I would say the ice staff is really fun to use for the main reason for high rounds, but regardless of that, I would say it's pointless. If you're trapped in a corner with zombies, you might die, but if you're lucky, it takes like a 2-3 seconds to charge the staff and do that fit. So you could so you could escape, but it's not like instant, um, it's, it's not like an instant shot. Obviously like other staffs, which kind of sucks, so that's kind of a negative thing. Go around the map to get the parts is easy for the ice staff. However, if you miss opportunities to get the parts on the lower rides to do Easter egg speed runs, for example, then you're going to hit that restart button, which sucks. The RNG for the parts could be annoying also. For example, on the spawn side of the map, you could get the parts straight away, but in the middle and Gen 6 side of the map, you won't get it straight away. So that like, you gotta wait till next round or it goes to round 10, which sucks. Or you could just restart the game. Bruh, RNG is a bitch, Jesus Christ. Regardless, I do like the ice staff for high rounds. Really, really easy on BO3. Never attempted on BO2. But yeah, as I said, I like the ice staff regardless. This is the ice staff and number 4 spot. Okay, so oh, at the number 3 spot, it's gonna be the lightning staff. Okay, so the lightning staff actually has a lot of, lot of ammo, which really helps your gameplay. I feel like it deserves that of ammo as well because it doesn't have that kind of a charge shot effect like the other stats possibly that's why i feel like that this is the case in my opinion the effect of the charge shot reminds me of the dead wire effect as well because it takes a while to kill the zombies it's not instant but it can kill horde zombies which is really helpful depends how much you use it i really like the charge shot on the staff regardless because it's so useful if you get trapped in a corner it instantly kills the zombies but it depends what round you're on to one is so you wouldn't die if you're trapped in a corner so that's a really good sign if you're playing casually on a good round this staff is really really fun to use though i'm not gonna lie especially with panzers it's so easy to kill the panzers with the lightning staff literally a couple of shots and he's dead simple as that i feel like this is the best staff for instantly killing zombies and panzers for sure going around the map to get the parts is so easy on the tank but if you you do get the last two parts by pop and in a church on the same tank it's really annoying because then you got to use the tank on every again and that could take a lot of time to do the easter xp runs etc even like gameplay wise it's so annoying man i i hate that shit there is a bit of a delay when you shoot the line staff so it's not instant which is mad to me i mean i feel like they could have improved it with that but i mean it's too late now obviously but i'm just saying that i'm not really a fan of that for high rounds this staff is not gonna be useful at all it's not gonna be like the ice staff and be god tier for high rounds i feel like this staff doesn't kill the zombies in, in like the 50s and 60s of the rounds i don't know if that's i don't know if that's right or wrong but i feel like that's the case regardless i do like the lightning staff this is in my number three spot okay so for the number two spot it's gonna be the wind staff okay so for the wind staff i feel like it's the best in skill staff next to fire as i said before the ice and lightning staff are not in skill staff so the wind is definitely higher up there for sure i would say the wind staff is really fun to use because of the in skill shot also because the charge effect is really helpful if you get in certain situations the charge effects last for like a good 10 seconds like the ice staff which is really good amount of time to kill a horde of zombies. If you get stuck in the corner, you're literally going to be saved by the wind staff because it's so instant, it kills zombies instantly. You're literally going to be saved, so helpful. For high rounds, it is pretty good until the 50s and 90s, just a random guess by the way, as a random guess. For example, it's not going to be as good as the ice staff for high rounds, but I would rank this staff number 2 for high rounds underneath the ice staff for sure. Going into the rear boss to get the parts is so so simple and so easy. Just make sure you get the right foot or you're dead, like you're literally dead if you don't have the golden helmet. <laughs> Simple as that. Just make sure you get the right foot. The wind stuff has really low ammo, which really sucks. It can run out of ammo really, really quick. It depends how much you use it, but regardless, it runs out of ammo really, really quick, which is big negative in my opinion. It runs like so fast. Oh, that's annoying. I personally wish I had more ammo in the clip. Maybe round up to 100 bullets, but yeah, it's a bit too late for that now. The wind stuff is great until it isn't one shot anymore. The charge track is really, really good, but yeah, it has low ammo, which sucks. Regardless, the wind stuff is really, really fun to use, and it is pretty good for high rounds, as I said. But yeah, this is uh, the wind stuff in my number two spot. And last, but not only. In the number one spot is the fire 
first half. And this is the best half in my opinion. The first half is the best non-upgraded staff in my opinion. I feel like it's better than the light staff, which is really good at non-upgraded. But I feel like the first half is better. The ammo cap in the first half is perfect. It's not like it's the wind staff and as little an ammo cap, which kind of sucks. Regardless, I'm really happy this staff has a good amount of ammo, especially when it's upgraded. The first half is my favorite staff to use because obviously the insta-kill effect makes it way better. And dude, this first half has a lot, a lot of damage. I also think the charge effect is really good on the staff. It kills zombies in like five seconds, which is a decent amount of time to kill horror zombies. I feel like all the effects with the staffs are really good, but I fight. I, I just personally think that the first half is better for later in my opinion. And of course, it insta kills a panzer. The first half actually shoots three bullets in the charge shot as well, and I like the staff which shoots one. The steps to get the first half are really simple in my opinion, so easy to upgrade. The only thing about upgrading the first half is that it takes eight rounds to get every power which sucks, but it is what it is. For high rounds, this staff is not great. Until like the mid 30s, it starts to get trashed really, really quick, even with the charge shot. I think it could last more than 30, but that was just an estimate guess. But yeah, apart from that, the first staff is my favourite staff. But yeah, man, there you go. That's my ranking of all the staffs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to rank the staffs as well in the comments below, feel free. I, I would actually be so cu like curious to see how you guys rank the staffs in the comments below. So if you guys want to do that, feel free. That'd be awesome. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to leave, leave a like, a comment, and a sub, I'd really appreciate that. More videos on the way, as I said before. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.